Welcome to the Katia Shafting, Grooving, and Circular Patterns lesson. In this lesson, you'll learn how to pad out a sketch, add a circular pattern, and then groove and shaft a surface. To begin, I'll open up Katia, open up a new part, and enter a sketch on this front face. Zoom out a little bit. I'm going to add a circle from the origin that's 20 inches in diameter. And then we're going to add a smaller circle from the origin that's one and a half inches. Exit the sketch, and then pad it out to 10 inches. We'll enter on this front face, sketch again, and in line with the vertical axis, we'll do a two circles. One's going to be six inches and six inches. This other one will be half an inch, one and a half inches away. Just going to pocket all the way through. And there we go. Now, because we want a circular pattern on this face, open up the design tree, select what we want to pattern, go over here underneath this drop down tab where there's linear pattern, circular, and custom pattern. We want a circular pattern. We are looking for 5 and 360 divided by 5. This reference element is what we want it rotated about. We want about the x-axis. That looks about right. So say OK. There we go. Now because we want this wheel to have some uh, depth and dimension to it, we're going to enter a sketch on this side plane. From this side plane, we can add our profile like this. There we go. Using the line command, go from that point out to here, and that point up to our circle. A quick trim takes care of that. And we can exit our sketch. Now what we're going to do to add uh, dimension to it is we're going to groove this about the x-axis. So to do that, select your sketch, go over here to the groove button, we want about the x-axis again, and there we go. Click OK. Now we have a little bit of depth. Now for the last part of this rim, we're going to use the opposite of a groove, which is a shaft. So we're going to enter that side plane again with a new sketch. We're going to use the Project 3D Elements button. What that does is it projects the outline of um, your part onto the sketch plane. So in this case, we want the outline of the wheel, like that. Go over here, Project 3D Elements, and we want them to be construction. Now we have construction lines. We're going to add two small rectangles up towards the top. Like this for our profile. A quick dimension. and then we can exit our sketch. Now we'll use the shaft command, which is right here, with our sketch already selected. Once again, about the x-axis. Now you can see exactly what we're trying to do. Click OK. 
There we go. That concludes the Katia shafting, grooving, and circular patterns lesson.